Let's first make a new composition. Click the drop down menu and select inches instead of pixels. Make sure the width is 24 and the height is 36. Make sure that you select the transparent button in the background contains. Now let's rename the project as movie poster tutorial. Now we have the transparent background with the dimensions similar to the movie posters. So step number one, import the picture of the sky into the Photoshop. Use Ctrl and T to resize the image. Aha, uh -huh, pretty cool. Now click the tick button just right here. Step number two, let's create a new transparent mask. Select the paint bucket tool. Go to the color picker, select the pure yellow color. Click OK. Paint the layer with the yellow color. Go to the blending mode and select multiply. Step number 3. Select the brush tool and before that, let's change the opacity of the yellow layer up to 65%. Now create a new transparent layer. Make sure the brush opacity is 5%. Paint the image with the yellow brush wherever necessary. Press Ctrl and G to composite the two layers into the group. Step number 4. Import the mountains into the project. Position the mountains at the bottom of the image and resize the image that is optional. Drag the group layer above the mountain layer. Select the brush tool and go to the color selector to choose the pure black color. Let's paint the shadows over the mountains. Let's import the second mountain to improve the details of the image. Resize the image and place the mountains in front of the old mountains. Click the tick button. Select the layer above the yellow solid layer and use brush tool to paint the black shades over the mountains. Make sure the opacity is 15%. Step number 5. Click on the sky layer. Go to the adjustment layer. Select black and white. Choose the opacity up to 70%. Step number 6. Import the galaxy stars over the image to add some details. Resize the image as much as possible. Decrease the opacity of these stars up to 70%. Step number 7. Import the spaceships into the project. Resize and rotate the spaceships as desired. Decrease the opacity of the spaceship up to 80%. Duplicate the spaceship layer and reposition the image at the top left corner of the display. Click the tick button. Step number 8. Import the image of the lady into the new composition. Select the quick selection tool to cut out the background from our picture. Hold the alternate button 
and click to deselect the important parts that we don't want to cut out. Go to the refined mask, paint her hair nicely. Let's adjust the feather up to 1 pixel. Right click, select inverse and click the mask button. Right click the mask layer and click apply the mask layer. Remove the unnecessary parts from our picture using the eraser tool. Drag our picture and drop it in the previous composition. Resize the image properly and click the tick button. Step number 9. Import the image of the full suit man into new composition. Repeat the steps that were applied under the lady before. Use the quick selection tool to cut out the background from this picture. Hold Alt and click to deselect the important part. Go to refine mask and highlight his hair areas. Adjust the feather up to 1 pixel, click OK. Right click, select inverse and click the mask button. Adjust the brightness and contrast of the picture. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E to output the final image. Delete all other layers, drag the picture and drop into the composition 1. Resize and reposition the image appropriately. Step number 10. Use the soft brush tool to remove the unnecessary yellow paint from the image. Use a sharp eraser tool to remove the uneven edges on the man. Step number 11. Import the sunglasses into the new composition. Use the eraser tool to erase the left part of the sunglasses. Adjust the brightness and contrast of the sunglasses. Use the quick selection tool to remove the background. Right click, select inverse and click the mask button. Adjust the feather up to 1 pixels. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E to output the final image. Delete all other layers. Drag the picture and drop into the composition 1. Use Ctrl and T to resize the sunglasses. Let's zoom into the image. Enable the Wrap tool to adjust the size of the sunglasses in a free form. Use the Eraser tool to remove the uneven edges of the sunglasses. Use Square bracket keys to increase or decrease the brush size.
Step number 12. Import the aliens into the project. Resize the aliens as desired. Let's place another alien into the bottom left corner of the display. Use Ctrl J to duplicate the alien and reposition the alien into the bottom right corner of the display. Now let's reposition everyone correctly. Step number 13. Select the text tool and click on the image. Let's write Alien is caught. Let's increase this font size up to 400 points. Resize the text to fit on the screen. Double click the text layer. Select the bevel and emboss in this layer style. Adjust the depth up to 602% and size up to 20 pixels. Select the stroke and adjust the stroke size up to 15%. Select the gradient overlay, double click the gradient and choose the desired gradient. Select the white arrow and change the white color into the bright blue color. Adjust the bright blue arrow as desired. Delete the color arrows that are not required. Click OK. Adjust the text and aliens as desired. Step number 14. Import the smoke image into the project. Adjust the opacity of the smoke up to 80%. Use the soft eraser tool to erase unnecessary smoke parts. Make sure the opacity is 45%. Place the smoke layer below the yellow layer. Let's reposition the smoke image. And now we can observe that the smoke image is covering up the heads of the aliens. Drag the smoke layer below the aliens layer. Erase the unnecessary smoke once again. Adjust the spaceship. Save the file as alien squad.jpg and we are done. Thank you for watching.